Hey guys, so today's video, we already know what time it is and I wanted to give you guys some shopping guides, so to speak, when you are shopping with the VIB sale. Um, I used to work at Sephora for five years, so you know, it's some things that is just worth your money during the sale. Everything else you can wait till later, you know, like, but these are the things that I think you should take advantage of during the um, sale. Um, some of the things that I mentioned, a lot of this is very vague. It's not like specific things. And I'll show like, I'll try to show on the screen, <clears throat> on the screen, what I think um, you should get when I'm mentioning the categories. It's also my hair a lot, it's just in the middle. Um, but I wanna give a little disclaimer. You shouldn't feel pressured or obligated to buy anything this season. Um, this is just something if you've been looking forward to, you set aside some coin because, you know, we're in a recession, <laughs> you know? Um, so don't feel obligated to spend your money. Don't feel pressured to buy things just because other people are buying it. But if you got it, <laughs> splurge, period. You know, this is like when you guys see these types of videos, it's not, we're not forcing you to buy these things. This is, if you are already wondering what to get, um, if you are already going to shop this sale anyway, this is kind of a guide. You're welcome. And I got you. So, first I would say is buy anything that's been on your list. The expensive stuff is what you should buy. You can wait for later for the other things. Um, so, for me, I would say a Dyson. I don't have hair. This is just a wig. I just, this, um, like, 70s spare faucet wig has me in a chokehold. Thank you very much. But, no, really, um, I think a Dyson. I know this is something everybody mentions, but a Dyson, especially, like, the limited edition ones. Um, now, if you already have the blow dryer, I know, because every year, every sale, we say this, um, to buy a Dyson. But, if... Um, you already have the blow dryer, try the other tools or buy the sets of tools that already go with your blow dryer if you got the standard one. Um, right now they have that beautiful blue looking one. Um, buy that. Buy it. <laughs> um, if this was, like I said, already something you were thinking about. Um, um, I noticed that the people that have ever, like while I was working there, that they have ever returned a Dyson, either they're so used to tools that are so hot to do their hair, and they're not used to it, so they think it's not good. As someone that doesn't have, listen, I mean, I will never bullshit y'all on this channel. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of the times when you work at Sephora, you get a lot of trainings. Like, every time something new comes out, you get a lot of trainings. And with that, I got a lot of trainings. It is, they are really amazing products. And I believe when people, how do I say this? Because, you know, Professor, is that what I want to call him? Professor, whatever. Dyson himself, he was an engineer. So, like, the the power that goes in the tools, I believe in, I've seen them work. But like I said, with a Dyson itself, if you're not getting the blow dryer or just anything else, like the air, I know you guys have seen it so far or lately the products just work like i said people that return them are people that are used to really really hot tools to do their hair so when it doesn't get as hot as they assume it should be they're like oh this is not working and they return and then when you teach them how to use the tools even on the on their youtube channel they show you how to use them they're really really good get a dyson <laughs> like i said it doesn't have to be the blow dryer it can be they have other things that you can get get it it's worth it Always think cost per usage. I know up front, it's pricey. I'm not going to bullshit you. It's expensive. Um, always think when you buy something that you feel like is luxurious to you, always think about cost per usage. Cost per usage. Think about how many times you wash your hair and you use it to blow dry. You've already got your money's worth before, <laughs> Lord, before the end of the year. Um, cost per usage and they have like a two-year warranty or something like that it's worth it 
Um, in the category of expensive stuff, any luxury makeup that you have been thinking to buy, um, that you've been eyeing, this is the time to get it. So like your luxury skincare, your luxury makeup. So I would say anything from Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona. I don't think Natasha Denona's mega palettes, I don't think they have them in Sephora anymore. I think she just maybe has it on her website and or her store because I know she has a store here in New York City. So unless it's not there anymore. But those mega palettes, if they're still on the website, I don't think they are. Let me not say that. Um, but Natasha Denona, Tom Ford, Westwood Atelier, Dior, Valentino, YSL, Estee Lauder, who am I missing? I'm missing a lot of people. Um, La Mer, a lot of expensive makeup. <laughs> Suwasu, um, Augustus Bader, Barbara Stern, brands like that that are skincare and makeup. <laughs> Bobby Brown, who else am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting. I already mentioned Tom Ford, Pat McGrath, Hourglass. I feel like a lot of people sleep on the Hourglass stuff. Besides their palettes, their stuff is really, 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 really good. Um, I already mentioned YSL, right? Uh, Gucci. Gucci makeup is really good, y'all. Givenchy makeup is really good. Guerlain. Um, I already mentioned Western Atelier. So, brands like that, that you've wanted to try, or maybe you have one or two things from them and you really like it and you want to add to it, this is the time to shop those brands. But I always say, I know not everyone has the time, but if you ever have time on a weekday, that's when you should go. Like, even if you're not gonna buy everything there right then and there, or the line is too, is too long, at least go in the store and things that you love or you've been interested in buying, go in the store, swatch them, know the shade that you wanna get, take a picture of it, you don't even gotta write nothing down, just take a picture of it, and you like your show and then go online and, and go shopping baby <laughs> so you don't have to stand in the line like if you're walking past a sephora listen sephora's right now are like starbucks's so every corner <laughs> especially if you live like in a metro city area it's go on a weekday before 5 p.m because weekends is gonna be crazy fridays when people are getting paid so weekends always is crazy it's just retail so Swatch the things if it needs to be swatched. Um, and I want to say this, because I've mentioned this before. If you get something that doesn't work for you, please return it. Don't waste your money and say, this didn't work for me, and leave it there and think it's a product that's bad. Because it may not work for you, but it doesn't mean it's a bad product. Return it, exchange it for something that will work for you. Next, I would say is, Things that are limited edition, this is the time you get it. A lot of the times, brands that really do limited edition stuff is usually luxe brands. Um, you see like limited edition from brands like Too Faced with their pumpkin spice and stuff like that seasonally, but it comes out every season. And um, luxe brands I think are good for this. Um, even if they have limited edition stuff, it, it, it varies. So, and it doesn't really come back. I'll say Charlotte Tilbury is an example. A lot of, of her um, limited edition stuff, they don't come back. She'll have limited edition things and they may be similar in packaging, but they're never the same. I have a lot of her stuff, they're never the same. So I'll say Charlotte Tilbury limited edition, Tom Ford limited edition, um, Hourglass limited edition. I know her palettes, her palettes, those palettes from Hourglass, I'm talking about the fonder because I went to shoot. Anyway, um, the hourglass palettes, I know every year there's a limited edition, but I have that's also something I have a lot in my kit. They're not the same. I know they look the same, I know they do. I know they do. In pan, they look the same, but I promise they're not. So anything like from Lux houses that are limited edition, buy it. I don't think you I think this is the time, especially because this is holiday. Um, I think seasonally it changes, but this time of the year, things that are limited edition, buy it because, and they're usually more pricier, so you're not wasting your money. You have something that's limited edition, 
and enjoy it. So next I want to say is get sex. And like I just mentioned, you know, holiday is literally around the corner. <laughs> it's literally around the corner. Um, so I will say get sex. Get sex, get sex, get sex. They make amazing gifts for your friends and family. They make amazing stocking stuffers. I feel like when you get gift sets, you can, it's things people can appreciate when you give them, like when you get gifts, for example, let's say like the Laneige lip masks, they always do them every year. It's always slightly different variations. Um, but one person does not need four different lip masks. You can put it in gift sets if you, or you can put it in different people's gifts. If you're gifting that out, like I said, stocking stuffers, um, just gift sets is always worth it. And it's always like a good way for you to also try something that you wanted to try. Gift sets that, um, from skincare brands, I always think are always worth it the most. Um, you get to try many things or travel size stuff and then you know, oh, this actually worked for me when I used it. And then you are going to buy the full, the full size stuff. Um, one brand there are a lot of brands but one brand that i know for me their gift sets is always worth it is caudalie um especially the ones that come with the beauty elixir because it'll come with two other things and the um elixir and it'll be like 50 dollars or 60 dollars, and the elixir itself is 49 dollars it can be maybe 52 now you know inflation um but gift sets are always worth it especially in skincare y'all Skincare and hair care, this is the time to spend. And then you can get, like, I always feel like instead of buying individual things, when you get a gift set during, like, the sale, you can buy multiple gift sets and it's, it'll still be worth it. Okay. Next, I will say is fragrance. Same thing with fragrance gift sets. They're always, listen, fragrance gift sets. If I said anything in this video and you're like, uh, Fragrance gift sets and the little um, discovery sets, but let's talk about gift sets first. They're always good. They're always good because you have, depending on the brand, you have um, one that has the lotion, one that has the fragrance, and one that has the little, what do you call it? I can't remember. <laughs> the travel size one. Um, travel size, I would say, is great for when you're traveling, even just on the go. It's, you don't always have to like be traveling somewhere to have it, but obviously they're great for that. Um, but when you're layering your lotion plus the fragrance together, your scent lasts longer because you know you don't want to be putting fragrance on like dry skin because you the scent's it's not gonna last long. Like it's just, it's just not. Um, so I think those are always 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 good. Um, those also make amazing gifts. However, if you like, eh, I'm not sure, the discovery sets are, if you're thinking of getting some gifts for people and you want to start now, which would be the smartest thing because it's holiday time, um, uh, discovery sets, amazing, especially the fragrance ones, because if you're buying it as a gift, you could buy it as a gift for someone, and they're always affordable. Like, you get to smell those little things. Unless you're using it every day, it can last you a week. One can last you a week. So, it lasts for, for a while. And then whatever your favorite fragrance is, if you're giving it to a gift for someone, that person can then now go in Sephora and redeem the full-size bottle. And if it's you, you get to go and redeem the full-size bottle. Because if you get it as a gift, that person feels like, I can actually choose what I want instead of you assuming I like the scent. Because... That's a lot of scents people like and I smell it and I'll be like, no, thank you. So I think that would make a great gift, you know? I know I'm talking about gifts because it's because the season of giving is coming. But this could also be a gift to yourself. Like, you know, the year is rounding up. You need to be proud of yourself, all your accomplishments, accomplishments this year. Gift yourself. Okay? Okay? Okay, so next I would say is vault. Vaults are really expensive, but, 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 I think, I'll show you guys, like, let me see if they're on the screen. There's some vaults that I think right now, if you're not really feeling something, so you've been interested in the brand and you want to 
to try different things from that brand. I would say vaults are really, really good. Some of them, some some things from the vaults, it's not stuff that you can just buy. Um, some of them are limited edition or some of them are just different things that if you were to buy them individually, it would be double or triple the price. So I would say vaults are really, really good. Um, same thing goes with like brush sets. I think brush sets are really, 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 really good. If you are like, you you just have like scattered um, brushes and you want something cohesive that you can do your whole face and you want something. I say brush sets and um, those small travel brush sets also, that's also really good. So you don't feel like you always have to have, um, what do you call it? You don't feel like you have to take the brush from home with you. If those small brush sets are also worth it. And get like get the ones that have the most in them because they may be pricier, but it's worth it. And that also falls. Sometimes some brands have limited edition brush sets. Sometimes it's just brush sets that you can't find in store by itself. And it's just good if you want to start over and you want a collection of brushes that just it just works. Um, going back to vaults, I want to talk about getting things that are jumbo size that will last you a while. So like either those jumbo refillable hair, I noticed they have this a lot for like hair. Um, so like jumbo shampoo, jumbo conditioner, get those. It'll last you longer um, and you get like, you're getting the discount off of it. So I'll say things that come, like I said, like refillable, the jumbo refillables or like the jumbo hair care products, always get those. And I know I mentioned fragrance, um, fragrance sets. If you get a fragrance set, I would say go for the one that has the biggest sizes because that's also really, to me, it's really worth it. Um, what else did I want to mention? I, I tried to make sure that this wasn't like too, too long. Because there are a lot of people that are doing... Now, if you guys want me to do like in-depth things, specific things that you think you should get, let me know. I really mostly will know about fragrance and makeup, especially makeup. I'm not a skincare person. I don't know what works for me. As someone that has textured skin and I have oily skin. But I'm not a skincare junkie. Like, there are plenty of skincare people on Beyonce's internet that will get y'all, right? I'm not... It's not me. Now, when it comes to makeup and fragrance, I got you. But hair care and skin care, I, I can't help you. Um, so, last thing that I want to mention for makeup artists. I already talked about the brush sets. This will be good for you. Um, palettes. If you are a makeup artist, palettes is your, is your good friend. I, I know a lot of people are like minimalist right now and they want things that are small. I'm not that girl. I'm not a minimalist at all whatsoever. I just will not subscribe to anything that's claiming to be minimalist, claiming your aesthetic. No, that's not me. So if you're a makeup artist, <laughs> palettes, palettes in your kit, things that you know make sense. Also though, palettes that make sense for your clientele in your area, okay? We live in an area where it's really diverse. You get diverse things, things that make sense for your kit and your clients. If you are in an area where it's predominantly black women or dark skinned people that you're doing makeup on, you shop palettes that you know work well with that. Same thing if your clientele is mostly like, really the darkest person you're doing makeup on is someone that's tan, you know you're not gonna be buying a bunch of dark foundations. This leads me to say, if you are a makeup artist, this one palette, Will change your life and it will change your kit. The flash palettes from Makeup Forever. They have a couple, but the, the signature one will be on the screen. If you have this palette in your arsenal, it doesn't matter where you go, it doesn't matter what the skin complexion is, you will always get someone's complexion right. And hopefully, if you're a makeup artist, you understand color theory. Because if you understand color theory, your your work will always look good. With the flash palette you could <laughs> it's so diverse you can use it to mix in with foundation that's too light that's too dark um that needs a different undertone shift 
the flash palette. And sorry, I'm not a teacher, not to tell you anything if you're a makeup artist. But I know, like, my OG makeup artist, y'all, we already know this. But if you're new and you're freelancing and stuff like that, the flash makeup, uh, the flash palette from Makeup Forever. Just please get it, get it, <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Oh, and I just want to say for people traveling, um. So de Janeiro, Patrick Ta, who else? Um, Anastasia and Tom Ford. They have those like shimmering oils. You can add that to your kit for when you go on vacation. If you're going somewhere tropical or somewhere warm and you just want to glow, add that also to your kit. Um, I would say so, so de Janeiro probably has it. Online, other brands may have it, but the, the brands I just mentioned, those are the one off the top of my head that I know for sure have like the body glow. Um, I mean, you could also make your yours at home if you want to. If you have liquid highlighter, mix it in with your oil or your lotion, that also works. But those are the things that I feel like, yes, you can get other things when it's not um, the sale time. But these are things that I feel like would would it would put a discount. It's worth it. It's really worth it. Things that are higher price points, things that are higher price points is what you should be using your discount on. And I believe right now during the sale, Sephora Collection always has like an extra, extra something off. And I know people be sleeping on Sephora Collection, but if you sleep on Sephora Collection, you're playing yourself. Because Sephora Collection is okay. some verses here and there but it's, it's not that much okay and this is right now they also have gift sets and they gift sets be gift setting okay it's always worth it anyway now i'm just about to ramble i will see you guys in my next video let me know if you want to make um detailed products that i think you should get that'll be worth your money um besides the ones that i've mentioned or shown here um and don't forget to like the video and i'll see you in the next one